We go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Geneva. And I'm Zara. So we are on Joe Coy's Live from Seattle special. It is our part three. So it turns out when we did the little bit of his, the rice is rice, that's actually part two of this special here for us. And now we're on part three, if that make any sense. Yeah, we're just going to redo the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go into our playlist, it's it going to have in that order. Are we ready? <gasps> ready. Wait, what happened with the the first one we watched? Was the, the, the fanning, fanning of the tears? Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Peeing. <laughs> yeah. So that's part one. And then Rice is Rice when like mm -hmm. his, his dad mom. was mildly, like comments of being mildly racist, but mm -hmm. you know. In the mom's hustle. Yeah, the mom's hustle. America. Yeah. <laughs> so we ready for this yes. one? Yeah. I'm excited. So again, this is Live from Seattle by Joe Coy. If you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also <laughs> hit that notification bell. All right, let's do this. And here we go. I Shit on my drink. Yo, I'm telling you this, man. I became a comedian which is totally against the grain when you have a Filipino mom. Oh. <laughs> if you have a Filipino mom, that is not the career choice you're supposed to have. Yeah. <laughs> Filipino moms predetermine what their kids are supposed to be when they grow up. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. know I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> There's a lot of Filipinos in here right now that are nurses. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's the most common. <laughs> Today is a good day to get injured at a show. Because yeah. <laughs> there will be a nurse in here like, oh my God, put a cold compress on the head. <laughs> elevate the, the feet. feet, elevate, the elevate, feet. elevate the feet. Elevate, what the fuck is elevate? I, just leap, <laughs> leap the fucking feet. Are you stupid? <laughs> and I'm not, hey, look, I'm not even, I'm not shitting on you for being a nurse. That's a great job. Great benefits, good money. Mm. I'm just saying, it wasn't your dream. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Filipino mom's dream. Uh. A lot of my mom wanted me to be a nurse. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Filipino moms shit on their kids' dreams, and you know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. They, they can't have a kid. Can't have a dream. What the fuck? What are you talking about, dream? <laughs> <laughs> I told my mom I wanted to be a comedian. She cried. Why? Mm. <laughs> Why do you want to be a comedian? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, your aunties are nurses? <laughs> your cousins are nurses? <laughs> do you see any clowns in this? <laughs> I do. do you? <laughs> Shit on my dream right there. Mm -hmm. Just looked at me and went like this. Joseph, <laughs> who told you you were funny? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Mm. I'm just saying, you're a nurse, God bless you, but you know there's some nurses out there that didn't follow their dreams. There's some nurses working at the hospital that wish they were a Jabberwocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, follow me to the x-ray. I'll follow you. Always <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that nurse can dance. <laughs> it was always my dream. <laughs> my mother did not believe in me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's either it's either nurse or mailman. <laughs> Mailman's another strong option. Mail oh shit. My mom cried and even suggested Joseph be a mailman. <laughs> Your uncles are mailman. Your cousins, they're mailman. My stepdad, he's white. He's a fucking mailman. <laughs> Why'd you become a mailman? He's like, your mama told me to become a mailman. Oh <laughs> my god. She shit on my dreams. <laughs> I came home from school and my mom had my uncle come over and talk to me mm. about getting into, to, into the post office. That's how fucked, right? It's fucked up, right? Mm. Come home from school and here's my uncle. And by the way, my uncle 
is one of those Filipinos that hide their accents. <laughs> like he's got a thick accent, but he likes to hide the accent because he doesn't want anyone to think that he has an accent. And it just ends up sounding like a worse accent. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a Filipino Elvis. <laughs> oh. He came home, I came through the door, and he got up and he's like, Hey, Joseph, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Filipino moms, stop turning into Filipino moms. <laughs> I can guarantee you right now, I got, there's a ton of Filipinos in here, but I can tell you this right now. I don't know any of you, but if you met my mom, I guarantee she looks just like your mom. Yeah, you're lying. fucking twins. <laughs> 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 they're just cut from the same cloth. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Filipino women. They're beautiful at the age of 20. Mm. But right when they hit 69, they all morph into the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Short hair, glasses. Louis <laughs> <laughs> Vuitton purse. No. <laughs> Where are we? Chata, Morchita. <laughs> Break that mold, man. <laughs> I told my son, I told him, I tried, I'm breaking that mold. I looked at my son right in the eyes and I go, Joe, look, if you have a dream and you think you want to do it and you believe in it, then chase that dream. It'll happen. I just listen. And as long as you continue to follow that dream, your dad's got your back. I got you, bro, 100%. You go, oh my God, thanks, dad. <laughs> I go, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because I want to be an architect. And I go, Joe, <laughs> I, I seen you draw. Oh! <laughs> another dream. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> about nursing. What the <laughs> <laughs> fuck? I love my kid, but I understand where my mom's coming from because he's at that age. Right when he turned 12, that's when he just stopped taking care of himself. Oh. And that's when I stopped taking care of him. Because that's what you're supposed to do at, when, when you're a parent. 12, you should know how to brush your teeth now. <laughs> you know what to do, Joe. But now that I ignore the fact that he doesn't brush his teeth, I have to f f fucking deal with the, <laughs> the breath. <laughs> the breath, it, it comes in hot. <laughs> hot, and he's breathy when he talks. Oh. Die. Oh. Die. Oh. Oh. Die. Oh. Die. I'm like, Joe, what I tell you to do when you talk to me? what I tell you to do? <laughs> Face the wall. <laughs> Face the wall and write it down. <laughs> Let me read what the fuck you're trying to say to me. <laughs> Armpits. God damn it. <laughs> Armpits smell like chopped onions. <laughs> and I always get mad. I'm like, Joe, why do I smell it first? I'm over here. You're right fucking here. <laughs> I grab the deodorant every time. Joe, this is all you gotta do. You just rub it under this armpit like that. That's all you gotta do. And now listen to me. Here's the important part. When you go to the other armpit, I want you to go across your mouth. <laughs> He thinks it's the funniest thing. Still doesn't know how to sneeze correctly. Are you kidding me? <laughs> my friend had a daughter at the same time I had my son. And she's, she's been cute her whole life. When she would sneeze, she'd announce it. I gotta sneeze, mommy. I need, I need a napkin. <laughs> her mom would run over with a napkin. Here you go, babe. Put your nose in the, in the napkin. I gotta sneeze, mom. I gotta sneeze. No. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> glitter Glitter. <laughs> when my son sneezes no announcement his face just explodes <laughs> mid conversation yes it always happens at the restaurant <laughs> like dad you see how many points <laughs> <laughs> And then I still help him. I grab a napkin here. Wipe your face, Joe. <laughs> I'm a good dad. Let me do that with my mom when I was a kid. Shit. <laughs> At the dinner table, mom, can you pass up? 
Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are your hands broken? <laughs> what is this? You can't use your fucking hands? You could not go like that? Now there's boogers on the chicken? <laughs> You're eating all the booger chicken, Jota. <laughs> all of that is yours. Enjoy boogers and chicken. Delicious, huh? <laughs> booger chicken. The whole week, I got to eat booger chicken sandwiches. <laughs> and she'd make fun of me. How was your sandwich? <laughs> Salty, huh? Out <laughs> of your mouth. Oh. Booger chicken. Oh, my God. I'm guilty of that sneeze. No. Oh. <laughs> you do you the one or the other? Huh? <laughs> I've never been very graceful. <laughs> oh, uh, so I do know a lot of Filipinos who are nurses. Yes. And yes. know a lot of Filipinos that are mail carriers. Yeah. Mail carriers. Yeah, and then I also know a lot of Filipinos who break dance. Yes. You know, but then you know, they they went also into love to karaoke. Yeah, karaoke yes. is a, a thing a for Filipinos. Pastime, a hobby yeah. for them. Oh man, what do you say is true? I only met Filipinos when I came here and I really like the food. Yeah. So, yeah. Adobo. <laughs> Adobo. <laughs> Listen, oh, guys, oh, we gotta find some other content to react to because the wrinkles on my face from smiling and laughing. Yeah. so much with this shit. It's <laughs> I'll be like, this oh is, my god! This is the wrinkles on my eyes, so much smiling and laughing. <laughs> they know that you've been having fun. Then, all the wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be in my casket, look like I'm still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, yeah. Good problems. Good problems. That was good. Yeah, this was really. Yeah. Good. This might be my favorite yeah. season. Yeah. This yeah. So far, but we still have more. So we're more. not, we're not all the way through the special yet. You know, and he still have more stand up special. Yeah. Yes. So, if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, Beep. hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ta -ta for now. Bye. You I'm, like booger chicken, Joseph? Uh, I'm like, I'm like numb right now. <laughs> do my face.